Hello and welcome to Blend Corner. Blend Corner is a tool that you, you can use to clean up existing blends. So over here I've got multiple blends coming together to form multiple patches. What I'd like to do is clean that up so it's just a single patch and make it more aesthetically pleasing. I can pick the, the blend faces. I can use either isoparametric or planar intersections. Uh, you can adjust where the, the limit curves are and how the limit curves react uh, or interact with a part. I can control the tangency of limit curves as well as control the shape of the overall patch. You'll find Blend Corner on the Surface tab. Here on this little drop down. Pick up Blend Corner. I'm going to reset the dialog. So it says select Blend Face for Limit Curve. I'm going to select this first Blend Face and it highlights. I'm going to create a new set. Select the second blend face. You'll see transition curves being built in a preview. Create a new set. I'm going to flip that over because of their crossing. Create a new set. And they're crossing again, so I'll flip those over. I can control the location of the limit curves either by just dragging them back and forth. This is an isoparametric approach. Or I can switch them to planar intersection if I want to have a, a build a plane and have the limit curve controlled by that. I'm going to come down to preview and just show the result right now. And I've got a, a, a start of a patch but I can still see that I'm not collecting all of the blend that I want to fix. I have these little handles down here where I can adjust the tangent magnitude of my uh, transition curves. Let's put a 2 in here and I can drag it back and forth. It's not really giving me what I want. So let's take this back to the default value of 1. Under settings, I'm going to uncheck allow transition curves on blend faces. And it starts to clean it up pretty nicely. If I look at the uh, show the result, I still have a patch that's not quite taken care of here. I can fix that by going back to my limit curve number 2, where I've got one blend face picked. If I pick this as another blend face for calculation of that limit curve, then that transition curve will follow nicely along that face. Pull these in a bit. I can adjust how the transition or the, the uh, transition curves are calculated. I'll select this one here, and I can switch it from the face rail to the limit curve, and it changes how my patch is getting built. So. I'm going to switch those back. I don't really need that for this example here. The last little bit I want to show is under shape control. If I look at what's going on here and show result, undo, uh, I can see highlighted here, silhouetted here, that uh, I'm removing material. If I want to remove less material and control this a little bit differently, I'm going to turn on enable fullness, enable patch fullness control. And I'll take this point here. And I'm going to drag it up about where I want to work. And since I ended up grabbing the uh, arrowhead first, you can see a big dent in my part. Let's go ahead and fix that. And you can see how it's adjusting out. I can obviously go the other direction too far as well. And that's, I like that. I'll leave it there. Maybe pull this one in just a little bit more. And I'll OK this and see how it looks. Go ahead and see what it looked like before and then turn blend corner back on. This is done on a solid body. I can also perform the same operation on a sheet body, such as this one here. So again, I'm going to reset my dialog, pick my first blend rail. This isn't actually a blend here, but it's a blend-like surface. So I can pick it as well and quickly walk around this part, flip over this last one here, and OK that, and I've kind of cleaned that up a bit. Thanks for watching. 
visit us at appliedcax.com and subscribe to our channel on YouTube.